Today, we'll talk about the history of neural networks from 1943 to present day 2019. Although the study of the human brain is thousands of years old, the first step towards neural networks took place in 1943, when Warren Bacalic, a neurophysiologist and a young mathematician, Walter Pitts, wrote a paper on how neuron, neurons might work. They modeled a simple neural network with electrical circuits. In 1949, Donald Hebb reinforced the concept of neurons in his book, The Organization of Behavior. It pointed out that neural pathways are strengthened each time they are used. In the 1950s, Nathaniel Rochester from the IBM Research Laboratories led the first effort to simulate a neural network. In 1956, the Dartmouth Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence, or AI, provided a boost to both AI and neural networks. This stimulated research in AI and the much lower level neural processing of the brain. In 1957, John von Neumann suggested imitating simple neuron functions by using the telegraph relays or vacuum tubes. Moving on to 1958, where Frank Rosenblatt, who was a neurobiologist for now, began work on the perceptron. He was basically intrigued with the operation of the eye of a fly. Much of the processing which tells a fly to flee is done in its eye. The perceptron, which resulted from this research, was built in hardware and is the oldest neural network still in use today. A single layer perceptron was found to be useful in classifying a continuous valued set of inputs into one of the two classes. The perceptron computes a weighted sum of the inputs, subtracts the threshold, and passes one of two possible values out as the result. In 1959, Bernard Woodrow and Martian Hoff of Stanford developed models they called Adeline and Madeline. These models were named for their use of the multiple adaptive linear elements. Madeline was actually the first neural network to be applied to a real world problem. It's an adaptive filter which eliminates echoes on phone lines. This neural network is still in commercial use. In 1969, Marvin Minsky and Seymour Papert moved, proved that the perceptor to be limited in their book Perceptrons. Progress on neural network research actually halted due to fear, unfulfilled, unfulfilled claims, etc. until about 1981. This caused respected voices to critique the neural network research. The result was a halt to much of the funding and this period of stunted growth lasted through 1981. In 1982, John Hockfield presented a paper to the National Academy of Sciences. His approach to create useful devices was great and he was basically likable, articulate, and charismatic. In 1982, additionally, the US-Japan Conference on Cooperative Competitive Neural Networks took place at which Japan announced their fifth generation effort, which resulted in the US really worrying about being left behind and soon funding was flowing once again. In 1985, American Institute of Physics began what has become an annual meeting. Neural networks for computing, and by 1987, which is two years into it, uh, the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, IEEE, its first international conference on neural networks, drew more than 1,800 attendees. In 1997, a recurrent neural network framework, Long Short-Term Memory, LSTM, was proposed by Schimberger and Tuckerter. In 1998, Jan LeCun published Gradient-Based Learning Applied to Document Recognition. Um, several steps have actually taken place uh, in order to get to, to where we are now, and today neural networks are discussed really regularly and the future is here. Currently, most neural network development is simply proving that the principle works. However, this research is developing neural networks that due to processing limitations, take weeks to learn. But the future is here and it's moving really quickly.
the queen.